Hello and welcome to another CAD clip on AutoCAD 2007 3D um, using a shift middle mouse button looking around. In this lesson we're going to talk about poly solids which is a new object type and I'm going to start by going up to the top and picking tools palettes dashboard and then I can have my dashboard in or out. In our last lesson we talked about the section plane now we're going to talk about the poly solid command really easy stuff and and if you want you can just pick on poly solid and you can just start to draw you can use your ortho etc okay poly solid just kind of draws walls okay in its natural state once you have that you'll notice that the start you have some special grips first of all you can grip on here and you can stretch that this way Okay, this one will stretch this way and then, you know, we can stretch using good old grips that way. The other thing is at the beginning of that poly solid, we can grab grips and we can stretch these out and that changes the whole object. I also have uh, ground shadows turned on here. Let me just turn that off. I'm going to go into here for a second. My visual styles and in my conceptual, I'm going to go down to shadows here. Uh, ground shadows which is right there display ground shadows off thank you now the other thing is we can click back on here and I can grab this grip and I can stretch that out okay and that was just drawn again by clicking on our poly solid command and then off I go okay the default heights and widths and the other thing is if you hit escape like I just did it stops so unlike some other commands escape stops it in this yet you have to hit enter or a space bar okay if you hit escape it'll just stop right there okay now so that's one way of doing it now as you draw your poly solid look at your command line down here okay it says object which we're going to do height width and justify so if we say height right away and say height we can either type in a number or we can pick points i can say well i want it to be this high and now i'm going to say w for width well i want it to be this wide and then if i start to draw i can use that height and width okay and i keep hitting escape on that and i shouldn't enter okay so that's and then again same thing with my grips up and down do whatever i want with it isn't that fantastic use your ortho or not okay you can start to very quickly as you can see shift middle mouse get some interesting shapes off of that right off the bat okay poly solid okay or we can just do object maybe i have a polyline over here i'm going to draw a regular old autocad polyline I'm going to click on here and I'm going to hit enter and pick this and it just converts it. After I do that, it remembered the last width and height and then I can grip on these and do whatever I want with them. Okay. After I do something like that, if I want to draw something off of that face, okay, I can draw a cylinder. As long as my dynamic UCS is on, I can draw off of that cylinder. Okay. So you can see how something very quickly maybe draw a pyramid using my dynamic UCS and my ortho type thing click place that right on top of that surface shift middle mouse button okay do an erase erase these objects okay I can go back to my top view okay that's what these are this is a polyline that's been fit curved okay I could change this back to be you know 3d wireframe this was a polyline this was a circle and this is something i made i think this was just a line so let's try that okay i'm going to draw a line i'm going to draw a polyline i'm going to draw another polyline over here i'm going to draw a circle in here i'm going to pick on my poly solid and i can set my widths and heights beforehand okay width well, I only want it to be, you know, this wide. How high do I want it to be? H for 
height command line well I want it to be about this high and then I just hit enter and pick on this object and it converts it we could have said justification as well enter start my command okay I can say J for justify okay left center or right center is fine and then enter is an object pick on here and I'm done okay enter enter pick enter enter oh I want to spline this PE for polyline edit pick on here and then we'll do a spline enter pick on that spline maybe grab my nerves do what I want with that start my poly solid enter pick converts it go to my 3d view and there's my 3d objects okay there's the circle okay the circle I can grab this grip and I can stretch this in I can stretch that one in okay that's how I got that shape this one over here same old stuff stretch it out stretch it out okay grab this guy that was just a line nothing fancy there click on here drag up drag over okay if you go back to the point you'll notice that you can change directions by using your UCS and then this guy over here what can we do with that grip turn my ortho off ah, you see my ortho is causing problems look at that that's pretty slick okay go to my view over here okay and then of course all I did was go down here color faces pick on here enter pick a colored face hit OK color face here enter pick a color hit OK go around and color the faces so poly solid read your command line you can use existing geometry you can justify it you can set the width and height or you can just start to draw depending on you know maybe you want to draw even on the on I wonder if you can go on the top of this surface here shift middle mouse button here let's do our poly solid and let's hover over here look at that I can act oh I hit my snap on that but I can take my snap off maybe I probably want to move my origin UCS origin to that point that might help me be able to draw in here go in that direction and type uh, 5 and then go up and type in the number 2 enter so I drew that um, poly solid right on the surface of that is all I wanted to explain by using my dynamic UCS okay oh there's a pyramid up in the air right no problem we can go M for move pick that grab that endpoint move it down to there now that it's down there and we can take that of course we can move that around oh now let's see where that is so oh, I got everything kind of skewed on an angle here let me just get rid of that so my point being is that you can take these and you can move these objects around and as they interfere with each other you will see them uh, displace so there's our poly solid command have a look at your command line convert existing geometry lines I would go in and maybe try some more of these shapes very quickly it'd be easy to go in and you know make a rectangle oh let's do UCS world that's probably my problem make a rectangle box pick on my poly solid enter pick on here and you're done then you can use your stretch command instant walls I guess you could say at least and then go in and have a look with your grips and have some fun with them um, they're not hard to, uh, to